It's 41 past the hour. You know, spring might seem far away this morning, but it's going to be here before you know it. So now is the time to finish up any indoor home improvement projects you have out there. This morning, Ashley Kirkland is at Lowe's to preview some of those projects. Good morning, Ashley. Good morning, Vicki. Now, I'm sure some people are experiencing some winter blues. They're tired of being stuck in the house. And if, if that's you, then you may want to slap some new paint on those old walls. That might do the trick to do a little pick-me-up. Some studies actually show that the color of paint that you choose could enhance your mood. So if, that, is that, if you believe that, this segment uh, is for you. So a little later, we're going to join some of the professionals here at Lowe's. They're going to tell us about some tools you can use to make this job easier as well as stencils that can help you to create fancy designs on your walls. Now, I've done a couple of paint jobs in my day, and so in the next hour, I'm going to show a picture of a really botched paint job that I did. Um, I actually took a picture of it. It was really bad, and we're going to show viewers how to not make that mistake that I made that uh, made my paint job really, really bad, and I actually had to call professionals afterwards. So we'll show that in the next hour, and we'll talk about some tips to make this job easier as well to show all of the tools that you'll need to complete your paint job. Back to you, Vicki. Ashley Kirkland reporting live in Marquette, TV6 News. Oh, Ashley, now I feel, you know, like maybe I should have confessed about some of my bad painting jobs, too. Can hardly wait to see that. Thanks. You, welcome back. 11 past the hour. Now, whether you need to do just a little touch up or a full job, painting your home can be the perfect time to be done right now. So we're going to head back to Ashley Kirkland live at Lowe's for a do it yourself project. Ashley. Fess up. <laughs> Good morning, Vicki. Now, a new paint job can spruce up any old room, and it can actually probably enhance your mood if you're sick of the winter blues. So this is the perfect do-it-yourself project. Now, right now, we are back at Lowe's, and we are with Pro Services Specialist Clint Miller. He's going to talk to us a little bit more about how to get started with that paint job. Clint, what's the first step that we need to know to uh, get started with the paint job? Sure. I think the first step is determining what it is that you're looking for, you know, uh, figuring out what it is that your inspiration is and finding out uh, what colors you like. Okay, and how, I know people look at magazines and they may even look at celebrity homes and they want to mimic that. What are other ways that we can uh, get that inspiration for a paint job? Sure, we actually have some booklets here that you can come in and you can open them up and they've got rooms that are painted and they actually have uh, different you know, creative names in the front of them for inspiration and things like that. So you could open it up and actually look and say, well, this color might look good on that wall and looks good on that wall. And I can already see a picture of it here. So. All right. And uh, what kind of tools do you need to get started? Sure. There's actually quite a few tools that you can use um, when you're painting, and a lot of them will help you make it easier, too. The basic things you're going to need, you're going to need a roller. Um, you're going to need a paintbrush. Um, and you know you need the pans and some of the things that we recommend you know these pan liners mm -hmm. it just makes your cleanup a whole lot easier for a few more cents um, and then even when you're cutting in with your paintbrush having something like this to carry around instead of a whole can right. just makes things a lot easier on you. Okay and as far as uh, tape and everything like that what does that look like uh, laying out those tools? Sure. As far as preparation uh, and keeping the paint off of the things you don't want it on, you know, we recommend getting something, um, you know, plastic you can put over your windows and then taking your tape and uh, taping it right up against that. The other thing you can do, uh, instead of moving all your furniture into another room, you can scooch all your furniture into the center of the room and put one of these drop cloths over top of that. Okay. So. All right. And so what, what's the prep work? Talk to us about the prep work before we actually slap the paint on there. Sure. Everyone's got pictures on their walls and, uh, you know, we probably all moved furniture in and dinged up our walls too. The first thing you want to do is take everything down off the walls and then you're going to want to get a putty um, and just just put that putty on there, let it dry, and then you're going to just want to sand it real lightly over top of that. Okay. And um, if you have any nails or anything in the wall, you want to make sure to take that out right. Absolutely. Okay. So we're also going to talk about, cover some questions that people may, ask, um, may have, whether you want to go from a, a darker paint color to a lighter paint color, and that's a really difficult thing. So you're going to cover some of that for us in the next segment. But I have a question. Have you ever done a really bad paint job? Clint. 
Well, I guess if I was to be honest, I'd have to say, yeah, I think we all probably been there at some point. <laughs> okay. So here's a picture I'm going to show you guys. I actually tried to go from a darker paint job to a lighter paint job. And this picture shows uh, what the result of that was. This was a really bad paint job that I did. And so we are going to show view viewers how to not make this mistake that I made and uh, how to kind of transition from a darker color to a lighter color a little bit easier as well as do a better paint job than I did. So there it is, my dirty laundry aired out for you, a bad paint job, and uh, we'll show viewers how to not make that mistake, Vicki. I'll take it back to you, Ashley Kirkland reporting live in Marquette, TV6 News. Hey, thank you for fessing up, Ashley, and I've seen worse, so don't worry about Welcome it. Welcome back. Well, there's no time like the present to begin working on all those home improvement projects. And this morning, Ashley Kirkland is live at Lowe's talking about well, everything there is to know about painting. And so, good morning, Ashley. Good morning, Sam. You're right. The sooner you can get started on that paint job, the sooner and better it'll be for everyone. We're back again at Lowe's, and we're with Pro Service Specialist uh, Clint. Clint Miller, who's going to talk to us a little bit more about completing the paint job. Now, Clint, a little earlier we talked about transitioning colors from a darker color to a lighter color, or just overall when you want to do another paint job, uh, what can make that transition easy? Yeah, absolutely. You're going to want to prime your walls beforehand, um, and you know I, we always recommend getting a high a high coverage primer just because, and actually with any any color, but especially when you're going from a dark color to a light color, because you will get that bleed through, kind of like what you saw in that picture you showed earlier. <laughs> now, is in that case, do you want to sand, try to sand off the old paint first, or will a good old primer just do the trick? Uh, a heavy coverage primer is going to do the trick for you. You know, you don't have to worry about the sanding or anything like that. Okay. You just want to put a nice, a nice thick coat on there. And if it still looks like it needs a second coat, even a second coat of primer is cheaper than putting on your actual paint first. So. Okay. All right. And and one more question on transitioning colors. If you do want to boost your uh, paint color as far as doing a, a lighter color, do you want to put a, a darker color underneath it beforehand? Um, you actually, you know. You wouldn't put a darker color underneath it. You would just use just use your primer and then get your um, high quality paint and put that over top. Okay. So. All right. So uh, speaking of the paint job, what are some of the specialty tools that you have laid out here for us? Sure. And they've actually come up with a lot of really cool things that make it easier for people. Everyone hates cutting in the walls. You know, at least at least I do. That's my least favorite part. Um, they've got things now that you can you literally just dip this into the paint on both sides and you can run this right down in the corner and okay. and your cutting in there is done. Uh, and the same thing around window trim, um, you can actually take a tool like this and you again put it into the paint and it keeps the paint off of the trim. Um, you almost don't even need the tape when you're using these tools and it'll actually go right around that trim. So. Okay. So what if you like a color but you really aren't sold on buying the whole can of paint for it? What are your options for people? Yeah, and the great thing about that is that you can come in and you can get uh, any paint color that we have and you can actually mix it up just for more than a little more than two dollars. We have these small um, little containers. Take it home, put it on your wall, and then you can know for sure if that's the color you yeah, want there. Hold that up for people to see. So uh, what if you just want to, and this is great too also if you, what if you just want to touch up the paint that you already have on your wall, but you don't, uh, do you have to save the can of paint, the cans of paint that you have? Like, you know, I'll, I'm always wondering, where can I store these things? They look so messy after I'm done painting. Do I have to keep those? No, the great thing uh, with Lowe's, if you're coming in and getting your paint, we actually have a program that's the My Lowe's program, and we can scan your paint when we mix it, and it'll save that paint code into our system. So when you come back next year and you say, hey, we scratched our wall, uh, and we don't know what color paint we used in February, you can throw that can away and we've got that color saved for you on the Milo's program so awesome. now speaking of scratches and and uh, keeping your walls looking pretty what are some of the qualities and sheens that you would recommend for people whether they have kids or pets uh, talk to us about some of those things sure a lot of times your sheen is a preference thing uh, for me personally though and for a lot of people who have kids they've discovered that a satin or a semi gloss um, the spaghetti comes off a lot easier <laughs> okay. when when the kids get it on the wall um, so you know for for dirt Durability, you know, uh, high quality paint like our Valspar um, is going to be a good paint with any mat that you put on there. Um, 
or any sheen that you put on there rather but you're going to definitely want to use a semi-gloss if you have kids okay and lastly we have a, a big shout out here clint wants to say something go ahead clint yeah today is our daughter olivia's first birthday so i just want to say happy birthday olivia and have a good day all right happy birthday olivia she's probably not watching right now but uh we just want to wish her a happy birthday and we hope that was helpful for viewers with the their new paint jobs back to you sam ashley kirkland reporting live in marquette tv6 news Thanks, Ashley, and a, a happy birthday to Olivia. Maybe paint her up something nice there for her while you're there, Ashley. Yeah.